Well, good morning. Good morning. I think I told you that I'd be back soon at a mic like this. So here I am. If you were at our hotel announcement a couple of weeks ago, I hinted that we had some more economic development news that was coming soon. And this is the day. Before I get started on my remarks, I want to just, um, as I look out at the crowd, uh, I do want to recognize Chairman White, who's with us today. Brian, raise your hand. Appreciate Brian and his importance and what we do in the city and his work and his support of the city of Anderson through his work in the State House. Today we are proud to be sharing a spotlight with John Wright Jr. and Jonathan Whitmer for a major relocation announcement. Now for those of you, um, we'll share some, th those two will share some details about this moment in just a few minutes, but I'm privileged to let you know that through the hard work and the collaboration of a lot of folks, downtown Anderson will now be part of a family of locations of an internationally known business. Now I know that you are hanging by a thread <laughs> to hear this news, so unfold the towel and you'll discover the name of the company. Everybody's working through it. Yes, West Point Homes is bringing their hospitality and support services offices to this location, 201 North Main Street. This is an international company and it marks the city of Anderson as a international player. This development is significant in that it not only involves the repurpose and upfit of a building that has been vacant for several years, it also brings new people to shop eat and enjoy our downtown. Again, as I mentioned at the last announcement, things like this just don't happen overnight. We are proud of the investments that the city has made in the past decade in streets, streetscapes, green spaces, parks, and special events which have made Anderson more vibrant, more walkable, and more attractive to businesses and tourists. We know that many things go into corporate level decisions like this. And we know that one of the criteria in this case was a pedestrian friendly location with an abundance of nearby amenities. And we had that to offer. On behalf of our council, I wanna make sure that you all know that we are committed to continuing the progress we're making. Actively recruiting and cultivating businesses that will enhance our economy and quality of life in our city. Things like this happen as a result of a visionary council willing to partner with the private sector and managing a post tipping point environment for our downtown. And I want to thank our council and my colleagues for that. Great things are happening every day and this is, is yet another milestone for us. We thank John Wright and his team for working with us and the West Point folks to make this happen. The influx of new people to our downtown on a daily basis, basis will benefit all of us. And given our city's rich textile history to West Point, we say welcome home. I think you'll hear that theme repeated several times as we go on today. And I'd like to um, bring up Jonathan right now. Jonathan. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Mayor Roberts. As uh, I've told some of you this morning, about 30 years ago, I came to this region. And uh, I was working with a different com company then and uh, we were looking for the best place in America to put our factory and to put our distribution center. 
And I'll never forget getting off the plane in, in Greenville and coming into the region and being amazed at what we found here. And uh, what we were looking for is, is what West Point Home is looking for now, which is you know, a great community with amazing people and, and a place where we can grow and expand and build our business and, and do it the American way. And so we're really proud to be able to come here and, and move our facility and stay in the area and, and start building our business in a new, in a new direction. Uh, for over 200 years, West Point Home is bringing style and comfort to life. And the textile industry has been through a lot in the last you know, 20 to 30 years, and the world is changing. But it's really becoming a much more globalized market. And this part of the country, with the access to talent and the, the access to, to a great workforce, is, is really where we need to be to build the next generation of textile companies that basically run the world. And you'll, you'll find that American textile knowledge and the, the cradle of what makes the textile industry great is still alive here. We'll wait for the truck to go by. It's great to see development going on, isn't it? So listen, I won't take up too much of your time, but I wanted you to know that the, the people and the individuals that we're bringing to the community are really the, the best and brightest that we have to offer at West Point Home. Our hospitality business is leading the growth in our company and really doing some amazing things with R&D. Um, the textile industry is evolving rapidly. We're doing some amazing things with textiles. We figured out how to put fiber optic cable into textiles. We know how to make antimicrobial things. We can make you know, your, your clothing, your textiles odor resistant. It's really going to be some amazing things that are coming onto the market. And the majority of that work is really going to be done here. And so we look forward to growing our presence here and to doing more business. And uh, on behalf of the board of directors of West Point Home and our leadership team, I really want to thank everybody here for, for welcoming, us to, welcoming us to your community. And we, we really can't wait to get here and get back to work. So thank you very much. And I'd like to now throw it over to John Wright Jr. for the next part. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. For those of you that I haven't had the pleasure to meet, I'm John Wright Jr. of McCoy Wright Commercial Real Estate, and I'm the developer for this project. First of all, what an honor it is to follow the two men that just spoke. Mayor Roberts is someone that I have a tremendous amount of respect for and consider a personal friend of mine. I've looked up to him for years, and I'm grateful for the vision and the leadership which he provides for our city. Also, Jonathan, it's evident that you are a man of strong leadership and vision as well, and we look forward to a long-lasting, mutually beneficial relationship with your organization. I also want to thank uh, the City of Anderson, um, the Chamber of Commerce, by, led by President CEO Pam Christopher, Anderson County, and of course Chairman White and our local legislative delegation for their continuous efforts to recruit and attract economic development to Anderson. I also want to thank South, thank South State Bank, who's financing the project for us and put on the wonderful refreshments and coffee and drinks for us this morning. We appreciate you guys. Jason and Jimmy, I see you here as well. <clears throat> now, before I talk specifically about this exciting project, I'd like to give credit to the one that deserves it most. As my college football coach at Clemson, Dabo Swinney, says, always let the light that shines in you be brighter than the light that shines on you. And here today, we in Anderson, South Carolina, have a tremendous light shining on us as this announcement will have a lasting impact on our city for decades to come. I've been able to play a small part, and for that, I'm extremely grateful. But I believe that the reason we have the opportunity to do this is because of the light shining in many of you that I see here today and in me, and that God has chosen to shine his light on Anderson and bless our community in a big way. I would like to take a minute and return thanks for this opportunity. If you would all please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for what you're doing in this community. I pray that we would not take it for granted, but rather embrace the opportunities that you've given us. God, I pray that when people look at this building, this downtown, and this city, that they would see you and only you. That we would not only decrease and that you would increase, but rather that we would complete, completely disappear and that you would wholly appear. It's all about you, God, and I thank you that your plans are always greater than anything that we could ever ask or imagine. I pray all this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. So we first began working on this project uh, actually before West Point Home came into the picture. Alan Zirkelbach, who's our contractor on the project and doing a wonderful job with the construction, Damon Granger, who is my partner on this project, 
and I began thinking about the building and what it could be. We all had a passion and a vision for what is the tallest commercial building in all of downtown that's been sitting vacant for several years. And for those of you that have the pleasure of knowing Alan and Damon, you know that passion and vision are qualities that neither one of them lack. After many months of brainstorming and putting pencil to paper, we were able to land on what we felt would not only be the most feasible solution, but also what's best for our downtown and our community, not only today, but as we move into the future. Obviously, you've heard about West Point Home occupying two floors of this building, but we also have big plans for the rest of it. The West Point Home project renovation of the floors, second and third floor, excuse me, will be the first phase. The second phase consisting of gutting the entire first floor, adding windows along the north and south side of the building, and tearing down this wonderful drive that we're currently sitting under to rebuild a new parking lot on site for the exclusive use of the building's tenants. We're already in discussions with several prospective tenants that would look to occupy anywhere from 5,000 up to 20,000 square feet. Each tenant that we're working with would not only be a great fit for the building, but a tremendous addition to our downtown. And I truly believe that 10 to 20 years from now, we will look back and realize that this project is what took downtown Anderson to the next level. We're excited about the value that it's adding, and we believe that the best is yet to come. Thank you. And at this time, I'd like to welcome Kimberly Spears, the city's economic development director, to say a few words. Thank you, John. Recruiting national and international companies is an important thread in the future growth and development of downtown Anderson. And our city is excited about this game-changing opportunity. The energy and enthusiasm present now is largely due to the vision and dedication of our city council. Thank you. And of course, we want to thank our city manager, Linda McConnell, and assistant city manager, David McEwen, for their guidance through this process. I also want to acknowledge <laughs> my wonderful staff, the economic development staff for their efforts and teamwork today in making all this happen. West Point Home offices will be located a mere stone's throw away from what was a vibrant textile area, including five mills within the city limits. A gateway paying tribute to our textile heritage is planned just west of here, and it seems appropriate, almost serendipitous, to have a pioneer whose legacy can be traced back 200 years to return here and revive this tradition and be a leader in the innovation and sale of home textiles. I say welcome home to Anderson. Thank you so much for coming out on a hot day like this and helping us celebrate this great news. John Wright Jr. and I think Alan, several people on his staff have agreed to give tours if you want to see a before uh, the renovations. And if you're interested, just meet at the front um, entrance of the building. Have a great day. And for those of you who need to get your pictures taken, you need to see Beth Batson right there, okay? Thanks so much for being out here today. Appreciate it. Good morning, I'm Jonathan Whitmer. I'm the President and CEO of West Point Home, and we're thrilled to be here, and we wanted to thank you for your warm welcome, and we look forward to growing with you here in Anderson, South Carolina. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Wright, Jr. with McCoy Wright Commercial Real Estate, and I'm the developer for this wonderful project. I can't tell you how excited I am to have partnered with West Point Home and to bring a significant employer to our area who's going to drive economic development, not only for our downtown, but for our entire city. We believe that this project will truly be a game changer and that decades from now we will look back at this project of being the catalyst of what took our downtown to the next level. I'm excited about the potential and look forward to the future of downtown continuing to thrive. Hi, I'm Kimberly Spears. I'm the Director of Economic Development for the City of Anderson. And we are so excited today to be able to announce this wonderful um, economic development uh, announcement with the city and also the John Wright Jr., um, the developer. Uh, we have West Point uh, Homes moving here to uh, 201 North Main, and this is gonna be a huge anchor for what will soon be lots of uh, impact and, and um, traffic in front of all the businesses and be able to impact in such a way. I can't thank my team uh, so much for all the help that they had in uh, pulling this together and the support of the city council as well as the administrative staff uh, to make this happen. 
Hey everybody, I'm Linda McConnell. I'm the Anderson City Manager and it is a great day here in Anderson as we're here announcing another big new company to come to our community. West Point Home and we thank them for choosing Anderson and talking about our wonderful quality of life and the things that our community has to offer. We also thank John Wright Jr. and his team for bringing West Point into our city and our economic development office and our whole city council couldn't be more proud. So great things are happening in Anderson. Uh, we're on the map literally with Shanghai, uh, New York, other places. So we're, we're in the, on the map and in the news. Yay, come see us. Good morning, my name's Terrence Roberts and I'm mayor of the city of Anderson and I'm at a new announcement in the city at 201 North Main Street where we're excited about a building that has been vacant for several years but now will be occupied by a major textile and international company. West Point Homes will be locating here in a building that is being renovated by John Wright Jr. and his partners. So again, what it does for the city of Anderson, it provides more pedestrian level traffic, which is important for our shops and our restaurants. And so again, we're very excited. I wanna thank my council for the visionary um, aspect that they have on making our downtown great. So come down and see it, you'll enjoy it. Hey, I'm so excited to introduce my team and I wanna make sure that we Thank West Point Home for providing these wonderful towels for us that are embroidered. This was a unique way to discover how what t what uh, office was coming and what corporate office was moving here. And so I just want you to notice New York, Anderson, Chipley, Bahrain, and Shanghai. That's pretty good company. Yay! <laughs>